Hey, what's up guys? Ender Extremist here from EnderExtremist.com right now with 18T Galaxy S3 which I'm going to use to demonstrate this review and this is review of Ender Open Kang Project 4.2.2. This is the AOKP that is widely available for your Android phones and it's what, so popular ROM it's comparable to Sanojimar head to head. And let's go ahead and go to the full review of this ROM. We're going to go to system setting and about phone. Here we go. We're going to find what version of Android it comes with and uh, who the developer is. The developer is Task 650. I chose this version or the official version because this is updated mostly two to three days or weekly. If not uh, every day, then it does come with a lot of other features that AOKP might not have as of right now. So let's go ahead and dive into this version. Now I'm going to have all the link under the like button so make sure you hit the like button go to enderxmiss.com download the rom for your phone now this is supported for mostly all the galaxy s3 not by same developer but different developers but it will be available for all your galaxy s3s now if you say there is none for rogers bell or Talus, that means you gotta hit you're wrong and you probably end up using the at version because those are similar phones that's like wind and t-mobile is similar so make sure you know what I'm talking about if your phone is similar to other kind you gotta use their code they're not gonna spend time and developing every single version of them if they're similar they will work like GT90 300 has different models everywhere throughout the country through the continent of earth and uh, you can probably just grab 19300 and it will work on all the 9300 models which is one in India China and all that they are same so make sure you know this before you're downloading the phone or the ROM and uh, make sure you get the correct version for your phone. Now let's go ahead and go to the setting. These are the custom settings that it gives you and these are the custom features that you get by downloading AOKP. If you can see right there, ROM control, AOKP OTA, themes, performance control, clock setting, and device option. Now, as I said before, not every version is going to be made by the developer, so this might be uh, organized differently, and you might miss out some features, so please do not request me to get this ROM for you, because I cannot do it. I'm just reviewing this ROM. Now, first of all, this is suitable for daily driver, because everything works in this ROM, as far as the camera goes. It works. Take picture, as you can see video too so there you go phone call works never had a drop call uh what else audio in call audio and the regular audio and like everything works as far as to make this rom a daily driver now i'm just gonna show you what i use out of this rom and uh, what's most useful things that i do with this features of the okp now I can't take about 25 minutes to make this video and show you exactly what everything this ROM has to offer step by step but I am not going to do that so let's go ahead and get to the points that I'm going to demonstrate right now so I use ROM control and under that general UI I go to the custom career label it says Android Extremist right there and if you could see right there on the top right there it says Android Extremist so that's what I one of the feature I use from the custom ROM control. Then another feature I use is the notification background. That's make sure it's hundred percent and choose the notification background. And here I just chose randomly my Galaxy Note two background, and uh, you can really reset it however you like, and just press OK, and it will save that as your custom notification background it probably needs to reset the status bar as well and if you can see oh it did not appear so let me go ahead and set the alpha value to all the way up press ok and if you go there voila right there is your custom notification background and uh, I use hard hardware back to kill enable kill button which is right there is the kill button and uh, as you can see the recent RAM usage bar is right there I selected uh, 
dual panel i might use it might not so i'm just gonna take it out as of right now so this is the features that i use from the general ui now i'm gonna go to lock screen and here you go something really really interesting that galaxy s3 has by this rom by aokp and uh, as i said i don't know about other reasons but this is really cool you can have widgets you can have volume wake uh you can use volume rocker to skip songs use widget carousel i don't know what that is long long press status and uh, you can see like different targets up to one two three four five and six six target up to six target right here as you can see is you probably saw that i have camera and google now all you got to do is just go there and that see like that and just see like toggle right there and it will unlock if i go there it will go to google now that that that, that. so it's a really good feature then again i have all the widgets available on there and the text color you can also select the text color if you want i'm not gonna mess around with that and after you're done with that just press save button right there and it will save the lock screen targets and everything so that's the lock screen feature i use the power menu i just select everything in so again when i'm watching a movie i want to where is it show desktop and stuff okay Sorry, I didn't have that, but uh, a power menu, if you can see that these are the app options I have selected, and uh, this is what my power menu looks like afterwards. And if you press that when I'm in movie, my status bar will disappear right there. It's gone. Let me zoom out so you can see better. Now again, I can go back to my power menu, select that button to get my status bar back. So that's a really cool feature and it is enabled in power menu. The navigation bar, I don't really use it, but navigation ring, that, that's what I use. As of right now, it's only one target and it's Google now. And if you want to select different targets, you can select up to four and have four targets right there. So if you want that, go ahead and do that. And again, press save button on the top right there to get the saved up. And uh, next one we're going to talk about is toggles. And this is what the toggle looks like the tiles and these are the toggles that i have now you can go to tackles and uh, toggle set setup and select where you want any everything to be appeared and save that then this is the toggle style traditional scrollable and the tiles i like tiles because that was the one introduced in the newest google jelly bean and the next one we're going to go is battery as you can see i have the circle mod battery elbow and that's about it i don't really do anything with it clock i have center clock right here plus am pm cell i don't have am pm but day of the week i have small i kind of forget time to time what day was so it's really there if you can see right there it's easier for you to know what day you're running into and uh, what are you doing when someone asks you what day it was now the other thing is the signal as far as you can tell, I have with DBM, so it says negative DB, DB, 89 DBM. And those are the features that I use out of ROM control. So make sure if I went too fast, you can pause the video and kind of go through it. AOKP right here is from, this ROM is by Task 650 and Kun, Kun, Kun says, I don't, I cannot pronounce his name. So I would like to apologize for that, him to messing up his name, but here you can check the update for your ROM and if your version allows that you can go ahead and do that here you select different themes from here I only like the blue one so I already have blue one and I only I just down, downloaded this ROM so I kind of haven't finished 100% of the customizations right here one of the cool thing is the power or performance tool right here you can overclock it as I see mine is overclocked and select different corner and IO scheduler Select different voltage script or voltage value right here. Save it. Another cool thing is this. You don't need to have CPU spy anymore. This is enabled in the ROM defaultly. So you can check if your ROM is deep slipping or not. I've been using the phone for past half an hour, so it's not deep slipping. And this is the uh, CPU information tab. So you can scroll around and check different information about your CPU and your phone. Device option here, you're gonna have screen, sensor, and sound tabs. You can mess around with them, and this is really experimental. So if you know if you don't know what's going on, please do not do that. And here's the super user or super SU access card. 
so you don't have to go to application right here in order to do that now everything in here is going to be themed as you can see the browser is already themed the contacts are themed phone menu every single application mostly that's available in here is going to be themed uh J jelly bean because this is source rom this is not your regular samsung stock rom which is customized so this was just a little review of the aokp version 4.2.2 if you find this review helpful make sure you hit the like button always subscribe for more videos like this more rom reviews kernel reviews root reviews roots and all that videos and uh if I mess up something, please go ahead and comment and let me know where should I improve. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.